Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Aylwood and today we are looking at Discrepant, a new game just recently released on Steam and to answer the ultimate question as always, is it worth your time? So Discrepant is a single player indie first person sci-fi action adventure game. Set in a somewhat questionable sci-fi future, you'll be uncovering an unusually interesting plot, completing various puzzles and objectives, all while trying your very best to stay alive. So, aesthetically, Discrepant did take me by surprise with its very impressive visual standard for an indie game. The game has a very clean, professional, quality look to pretty much all of its visual assets. Colours used are very realistic, clearly based on real life references for most things, but with a slightly more vibrant touch to everything to give that subtle added oomph, which was a very nice touch. As the game was made using Unreal Engine, the lighting effects are just as high quality. Literally everything from basic shadow effects to flare effects to general illumination are all amazing and really add to the immersive gaming experience very well. Even the tiniest detail like on-screen blood splats, UI icon glows, bright light shine blues and even the subtle environmental lighting in some areas are all pretty top notch and combine very well with the futuristic style of the game. Textures and detail are also very impressive and again due to the game's sci-fi setting really demonstrate futuristic creativity for some of the areas while also maintaining a familiar realistic setting in the not so high tech. The UI is clean and tidy, very sleek looking at all times and due to the intermittently displayed information while doing things instead of constantly displayed on screens keeps any hindrances on your focus area to an absolute minimum while also providing useful information when you need it. I should also note that other display screens like the start menu, inventory screen and even the main menu are all stunning and definitely worth a mention. Level layouts seem good, not too large yet not too small either. I personally didn't get to explore many of them so I can't really give an accurate opinion, which I'll explain later. Character designs aren't the best considering the overall standard of the game's visuals. Your character's designs, which you can only really see in some sort of reflection in game, isn't great and could have been improved with a few more third person animations. But don't worry, you're only going to see these in reflections. First person perspective animations however are brilliant. How your character holds weapons and light sources are all very realistic and maintain a very high visual immersion. I even like the fact that when you're holding both a weapon and a very bright light source it does cause an uncomfortable shine blur. Which does make sense if you're shining a 3000 lumens torch directly into a steel fucking pipe. The very few other characters I actually managed to notice are dead human corpses, Rottweiler guard dogs and pissed off Zelda fairies. Which aren't the best, with the dog specifically being the worst designed enemy in the game I'd say. Overall though, a very good visual standard but with improvements needed on the character designs. The OSTs in Discrepant are pretty decent, very slow, ominous, eerie sounds used to give the game a subtle, mysterious, somewhat scary feel. A huge focus on reverb and background effects though, with no real main melody used that I noticed. The game also has very loud environmental sounds, like flickering flames, electric hums and woodland sounds, which in my opinion are more noticeable than the OSTs themselves. Everything else sound related like footsteps, combat and interaction sounds are all very high quality and very distinctive. The game even has voice acted dialogue on occasion which I'd say for an indie game are actually pretty good. Not the best I've ever heard but they get the job done fine. Now for the gameplay. So Discrepant doesn't have any option for difficulty when you start. It is what it is whether you like it or not, just like every good game should be. The story of the game is pretty vague at the start, but to be honest I didn't get that far into the actual game anyway, which again I'll explain in a moment. From what I made of the lore so far though, the human race appears to be on the brink of extinction due to advanced alien entities have settled on earth and have removed a lot of the planet's population. The point of the game is to overcome some sort of paradox reality created by these aliens. Destroy them all, then make everything normal again. Now bear in mind this is an extremely vague guess from what little information I gathered personally and I could be completely off for all I know. When you first start the game you're given a 60 second close up of some random ship in space, a few clips in inside the ship, your character then wakes up from a cryopod from the alien movies, you take control of your character and play. As per all modern first person games, 
games, you have your basic combat controls, your character interacts with the world as you'd expect, and general physics are based on real life references. Specifically to Discrepant though, you can equip a selection of weapons, light sources, radio and goggles. The radio I think is purely for communicating with a woman, presumably your wife. Weapons are pointless as far as I could tell as enemies don't really take any noticeable damage and the goggles when equipped change your vision to pick up visibility radiuses of enemies. Nothing particularly special but different enough to be considered somewhat unique. As mentioned, the game is indeed a sci-fi action adventure. This means completing objectives, optional objectives, solving puzzles and avoiding death as best you can. Well, that's the extremely simplified version anyway. Now you're probably wondering why my explanations of the game so far have been pretty vague. And the answer to that question is I didn't actually complete it. And to be honest, I didn't even get halfway through it. The game is overall probably the most buggy, incomplete game I've ever purchased on Steam. It took me about three hours on and off playing for a few days just to do the first neighborhood stage because of objectives refusing to complete no matter what I did, enemies intermittently losing interest and chasing you indefinitely until the game is over, and everything else in between. I then found out after I purchased the game, on the main menu screen there's an icon to indicate the game is still in early access, which I'm not gonna lie, pissed me right off. Because on the game's Steam page there are no early access markers whatsoever. So in other words, I got ripped off at the time of purchase due to withheld information. Now a lot of you out there probably wouldn't mind if a game is in early access or not, which is fine. But since we had so many people cry about my Jupiter Hell video, I'm ever so slightly cautious about reviewing early access games. And if you're subscribed to the channel, you should know that I take my viewers time very seriously when making my reviews. So it's not often I'd recommend an early access game anyway unless under exceptional circumstances. So sadly, overall, an incomplete gaming experience that I won't be revisiting upon completion. So for the ultimate question, is it worth your time? You're gonna like this one. It's promising, above average standard, does show signs of great potential, but due to dishonest early access flagging, I won't be waiting to find out. I'm gonna have to give this game a NO CONTEST. If the devs were truthful about the fact that this game was in early access at the time of release, I honestly wouldn't even have bought it in the first place. So good on them for taking my money and getting away with it. Now I wasn't going to make a review like this either, but due to these particular circumstances, I thought I'd make you guys aware. It's not all sunshine and rainbows on this channel, so to get to the point, I personally definitely wouldn't recommend Discrepant due to the reasons mentioned, but who knows, if it turns out to be a good game, it's your call. At least you know by the time the game is actually out of its secret early access, your experience won't be as bad as mine. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more games I'll be reviewing each week, and remember guys, pay attention to early access markers on games. From my experience, devs often like to hide behind them in some shape or form, and losing money is something you definitely don't want to do. But as always, all the best guys, take care.